Input is what we're going to be using to make our first programs interactive with the user. Input is a function that asks the user to input something using the keyboard, okay? We're not gonna be using a mouse and clicking and that kind of stuff till way later in the class. But for now, our interaction with the user will be using input. Input has one parameter called the prompt. The prompt, and this will be, take a little bit for some of you to, to get your mind around. The prompt is what the computer displays to the user to ask them for input. Okay, it is not what, it is not the value of, of the result of this. So input prompt might look like this. Okay, so I'm gonna do input up here instead of instead of assigning a value to that, I'm going to input, and I'm gonna say, what is your name? Okay, so this is the prompt. I'm asking the user, what is your name? And then whatever they type gets into here. And then we print, hello, str first name. Okay. So let's see this in action. What is your name? Okay. Try it with a different thing. Okay, so the prompt, a lot of people get confused and they say, okay, so it's first name, I'm gonna do input, and then I'm gonna put Bill right here. No, that's not the prompt. You're, that's what you, the prompt is asking the user for that information. So you want the prompt to be something that tells the user what it is they're supposed to do next, what they're supposed to enter. And then here, we're, we're outputting that. One thing to remember about input is that no matter what the user inputs, it is going to be a string. So if I put this in here and I do 165, it's a string that has the numbers one, six, and five. It is not the number 165 because everything that comes back through input is going to be a number. I mean, it's gonna be a string. So if I say 100 plus str first name and I enter 165, I just entered a number, it's adding to a number, it's still not going to like that because it's still a string that has digits in it. Important to remember. Some languages will allow you to do that, by the way. Some languages will convert the number from a string to a number on the fly and just deal with it. Python is not one of those. It's called a strongly typed language, which means you have to tell it to change that to something else. Okay, so that is the input function. So we've got type, we've got print, we've got input. Those are three functions that we've learned so far.